on guys, it's Mike once again from the Sea Review and thank you so much for tuning in to yet another edition. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit that thumbs up and subscribe buttons below. It would really be appreciated and I'd love to see you here again. But if you're coming back to the channel once again, thank you for tuning in. So today I've got an awesome guest, Jacob Martin, is back once again on the channel. Last time he was here, we spoke about The Truman Show, which was actually a first time watch for us both. So I chose this film, New Seas, or The Newsboys here in the UK as to what it's called, because I thought Jacob maybe hadn't seen it before. But turns out he has. <laughs> so we're going to hear from him in just a very quick second. With this movie, it is a first time viewing for myself. And it's essentially around these young boys called Newsies that they refer to themselves, that sells newspapers. And they're exploited as such for their trade and what they do. And they decide, right, well, actually, enough is enough. And let's going to take action against this exploitation. However, there is another obstacle that steps into their way. I like the kind of plotline of this movie. It's slightly different to what we kind of get nowadays. I don't know if there's been another film that kind of replicated this plotline as such. I guess maybe the closest one is maybe Oliver Twist. So I like the case that the premise of this movie is different. However, my overall feelings for this movie is mixed. I did enjoy or generally the performances of this because it's directed by Kenny Ortega who's mainly known for the high school musical films and also the Michael Jackson This Is It. The film also stars Christian Bale, very young by, by the way, in his kind of teenage years, Bill Pullman and Robert Duvall. So it's got a great cast overall. Those three give great performances in this movie. And I think one of the highlights for me was an actor called David Mosco who plays David Jacobs, I believe if I got that right. I really think that Really, him and Christian Bale were the best part of this movie. And it just goes to show that from a young age, Christian Bale was fantastic in this role and he landed it great. Yeah, maybe a scene is slightly off, but I didn't really deter from that as such. I like how this is also based on a true story and they brought a different niche to this true story. So I like that they took a different approach to this. However, before I dive into my further thoughts, I'm going to hand it straight over to Jacob and let's see about him because he's actually watched this movie. So Jacob, over to you, my man, and your thoughts on Nooses. Can you imagine in an alternate world if Christian Bale starred in The Dark Knight, the musical? Look at me, I'm the Bat of Gotham! What's going on YouTube? I'm Jacob once again teaming up with Mike from the Z Review for another collab. Thank you Mike once again for having me on your channel. The last time we talked about the Truman Show, so what did he ask me to review this time? Newsies, which from what I'm aware from where you're from in the UK it's called the Newsboys. Well, here in the U.S. and a good chunk of the world, the movie is actually called Newsies. And so that's the title I'm going to call it because that's the title that it's in in my home country. Newsies was a musical made by Disney, released in 1992. The film was directed by Kenny Ortega, who's also known for directing the high school musical movies. So... He's made some pretty good musical movies over the years. And I argue the high school musical movies are some of the greatest guilty pleasure musical extravaganzas of all time. Newsies is based on true events. It's centered around these kids called Newsies or Newsboys who go out selling newspapers on the street. A lot of them work for Pulitzer. This is set around turn of the century New York, America. And... The kids have been underpaid and they have been shortchanged by Pulitzer. They have eventually had enough and so they decide to go on strike. And that is the basis of the movie. This movie does have an all-star cast. The leader of the Newsboys is played by a young Christian Bale. Pulitzer is played by Robert Duvall, who definitely was invested playing this character. And Margaret is also in this film along with Bill Pullman, Lone Star from Spaceballs, playing a newspaper reporter covering the strike. This is a movie that I have seen before, and it's a movie that I've always enjoyed. I've only seen this film twice now, but what makes the film work is mainly the soundtrack. The soundtrack of this movie slaps so hard. It is such a good soundtrack of songs. They were conceived and composed by Alan Menken, who worked on a lot of predominant musical films, particularly some of the animated Disney films in the 90s, like The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. 
he worked on the music in Newsies and the songs are just so good. I enjoy a lot of the choreography. I enjoy a lot of the musical numbers throughout. King of New York, Santa Fe, Seize the Day is an absolute banger. There's just some great songs in this movie and the story is very entertaining as well. I enjoy seeing snippets of American history done in an entertaining fashion. We got Hamilton, the stage musical, which took some of the early days of American history and made an entertaining musical out of it. And I love that show. It's one of my favorite musicals in recent years. Newsies is kind of the same way, taking another piece of the American history books and making an entertaining story out of it. And I really enjoy Newsies for the fun of it. I don't think it has the emotional resonance as something like Hamilton, but it is entertaining in its own right. I will say though, Newsies is definitely worth watching just to get the rare opportunity of seeing Christian Bale of all actors attempt to sing and dance. I don't think Christian Bale is the best singer by any means, which is probably why you don't see Christian Bale singing in other movies, but seeing Christian Bale attempt to break dance like he's Michael Jackson I thought was absolutely hysterical. And Christian Bale does give a solid performance even though he's not the best singer. I do enjoy Newsies for what it is. I think the story is very interesting. The songs are amazing. It doesn't have the best cinematography by any means. I will say the cinematography is a little flat. But the movie itself as far as the choreography, the musical numbers, and the story is concerned is very entertaining. This was Kenny Ortega's feature debut as a director, and he's gone on to do some other good things, particularly those high school musical films, which are a lot of fun. So, Newsies was definitely a good start for his career. I do enjoy Newsies for what it is. It's crazy that this movie flopped originally. The fact that this movie was a financial disaster, but it's gained a cult following over time to the point where Newsies became a Broadway smash as well is actually pretty crazy in itself. This is a pretty good movie in its own right. If you have Disney Plus, I think it's definitely worth checking out if you hadn't seen it. I'm going to give Newsies a 4 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 75 out of 100. Thank you, Mike, once again for having me on your channel once again. I enjoyed revisiting Newsies again. It's not a musical that I highly rewatch, but every time I watch it, it is a fun movie and the soundtrack is pretty awesome. I'm sure Mike will leave links in the description below where you can check out my channel. I also do movie reviews, I do TV reviews, and I do other fun stuff along the way as well. I have collabed with Mike over on my channel as well where we talked about Singing in the Rain, which was an awesome movie in itself. I'm not going to hog up any more of your time, so Mike, back to your thoughts on the Newsboys. So Jacob man, thank you so much for your thoughts on this video and thank you for once again joining me on this collab. Me and Jacob have talked about Singing in the Rain so far in terms of musicals and it's just really cool to be able to do another one. For me personally, I appreciate Jacob's comments and especially about the American cultural history as he mentioned. That will probably resonate more for him than it will for me. However, I do love Hamilton so I will agree with that and high school musical films, I actually don't mind. I think that they're a little bit underrated. What I will say in terms of Jacob's comments and what my thoughts are, they're too slightly different however because I felt like part of this movie was a little bit slower for my liking in terms of I would rather watch Singing in the Rain than this again because I felt like they had a bit more rewatchability and some of the acting isn't so believable and this could come down to actually Disney and kind of like the script writing or the makeup design because I felt like these orphans as such were a little bit too clean to be orphans and that might sound a little bit silly but some of them were based under the streets it wasn't as if they had like dirty or kind of like messy hair or very rugged clothing or mud stained clothing it kind of seemed a little bit too polished and i get it is a disney movie so kind of that might be a reason why but i just wasn't really completely sold i guess on the costume designs and a little bit onto the script itself. However, the most of the music in this, like Jacob said, it is a good soundtrack. You could sing along to it. You can actually get invested into it. There is maybe one song that you maybe can't. Besides that, 
most of Jacob's comments I kind of did agree with in a sense in terms of I'm glad that this is another time he's actually viewed this movie and I do really think that this movie should be checked out more by people because it was the first time I heard of it I had to do a google search to find out about this movie because I really do respect that it got turned into a musical as Jacob said into Broadway and it kind of took up more after originally being a flop and I respect that because it was a creative vision I will say that I did enjoy this movie I didn't hear it I don't think it's going to be one that I'm going to revisit anytime soon so overall guys my score for this review is so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my comments and once again a massive thank you to Jacob for appearing onto the channel. You can find the links below to his channel. He talks about a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows and he does a lot of variety in terms of videos and different content. So definitely check him out. Tell him that the Z review sent you and if you want to see him on another collab, please drop a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are of this review. Until next time guys, please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and I'll be Zian. See you later.